Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs in Switzerland. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a 1 to 58 scale Majorette 58 Corvette Stingray which was produced from 1999 to 2010. This one's the Driver 2 version from 2002 which I got in a mail call from friend of the channel Mark Lemonen in Finland. Thanks again Mark. There's absolutely no doubt about it, this is one classic cool car. And it's one of my submissions to the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital Charity Auction, sponsored by the Diecast Misfits. You can find out all the information you need about that by visiting the Diecast Misfits YouTube channel. I've left a link in the description. You know, I've never met a Corvette that I didn't love. They're my favorite American car, and of all the evolutions, I'm a C1 man. I know they're built better now, and they drive better now, they're safer, they're better today in every way, except in my memory. The Chevy Corvette C1 was introduced late in the 1953 model year and produced through 1962. It was actually rushed into production for its debut model year to capitalize on the enthusiastic public reaction to the concept vehicle, but expectations for the new model were largely unfulfilled. It wasn't a hit right out of the gate. Reviews were mixed and sales fell far short of expectations through the car's early years. The program was nearly scrapped, but Chevy decided to make the necessary improvements. And aren't we all glad that they did? It has endured to this day as one of the most iconic, classic American sports cars of all time. Coming up real soon on my channel, another classic beauty, the Ferrari Testarossa, and it flies. This month's Four Horsemen build is the GMC Cyclone, and I'm reminding you that you're invited to participate in my annual Canada Day build-off on July 1st. Pick any car and do it up in the Canadian flag colors of red and white. You're going to notice here that I favor using this bullet-shaped wire brush attachment on my Dremel, mainly because it doesn't send harpoon-like wire strands flying all across my shop. It's a little safer that way, and it still does the same job. And I switch to a Scotch-Brite tool, and I get a beautiful shine like that that's ready to go into primer and paint. I like this red and gold combo. Today's community shout-out goes to a brand new channel called Model Cars, Beer, and Words with Tony. It's a spin-off of At Tony's Garage. Tony's got one of the most extensive collections of larger model cars on YouTube. Follow the link in the description and check it out, won't you? The C1 goes in for primer. Now I debate with myself over which of these all beautiful color schemes to go with <laughs> and I, I sold out and went for classic red because you can't go wrong with that and that's going to require some very careful masking to apply the white highlights on these side panels here. And it actually took me two tries to get it, not because I had any paint lift off, I just didn't get as close to the body lines as I wanted to the first time. Here's unmasking the final product. And I'm happy with how that came out. Here's one of the old school magazine ads that Chevy put out for their brand new sports car. Mine's got an all white two seat sport interior. I often flip these upside down and blacken out the bottom of it because you're going to be able to see up through the wheel wells when this is all put back together. And I just want you to see a black void, not white plastic. 
I designed these red leather seats with white piping in a decal form and I put some yellow racing harnesses on there and they go on looking very sharp. I could never paint lines that sharply. This will definitely look better than a hand painted job. It gets a red steering wheel. I'm leaving the dashboard white because it's a nice contrast through the window with the red body. But I do nip off the little stick shift and I'm going to put one of my own made out of a common household straight pin. I bend it at just the right angle. I have to drill a hole and it gets a red gear shift knob. And the interior is all done. The side windows are open on this majorette, so you'll be able to peek inside and see this detail. And if you happen to flip it over upside down, I want you to notice that there's a little bit of detail on the undercarriage, too. Majorettes are nicely done models. They're French-made. I wonder if they're available to you where you are. I always add my channel logo so the new owner will know where it comes from. Okay, it's all ready to button up now. This chrome mid-piece is kind of the flimsiest part of the whole model, but it doesn't hold anything together. I encourage you to go by www.samedwheels.com to get a great looking set of tires like these for your next custom job. Be sure to use the promo code Maple Leaf when you check out to receive a bonus gift with your next order. A little custom interior fits in. The glass didn't need any attention at all. It sits on top of there. It's all going to be held together once the body is put in place like this. Well, I can't say that the little C1 gave me any struggles at all, and I'm quite pleased with how nicely it all went through the whole customization process and reassembly to where I'm holding it in my hands now. Does it roll? Sure does. Let's have a closer look. You can now see the micro decals that I put on, including the headlights. The hood ornament, the side Chevy flags, trunk badge and the tail lights are done up like that. Nice looking Samad tires on the classic red and white paint scheme. That's one of the most recognizable sports cars in American history. Can't say I cared for how they did up this 2002 Driver 2 version. But that's the hobby, taking what you got and turning it into something hopefully a little more spit and polish like. I'm sure it plays with how this turned out. As I said, it's going to go as one of my submissions to the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital charity auction sponsored by the Diecast Misfits. There's going to be a live auction on whatnot. Get all the information you need from the Diecast Misfits YouTube channel. Get in there and make a bid. All the money goes to the kids, so that's what it's all about for me in this hobby. So I fully endorse this project. I do a freeze frame right here, so you can get all the stats that you need. We do appreciate everyone who is participating by building and bidding. And I want to say thank you to you for visiting my channel today. Come on back soon and often. It's coffee time.